Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, recheck here, James. Uh, KC9VKV. Hope I got that correct. NX8B. This John up here in Cincinnati. By Cincinnati again. So um, I just uh, yeah, your your S level is up to 20, and uh, all the other stations I've been hearing, if I hear any at all, are are nil or void. So um, I just want to see what kind of antenna you're running. If it's pointed in a certain direction, and um, how much power you're running there, James. Back to you, over. Uh, Roger, John. Well, let's see. First things first, we're running a, a Heathkit 220, and uh, we're doing about a KW. Uh, and I am using um, a lot of different antennas. I'm using four Internet SDR receivers, where we're uh, monitoring uh, Arlington, Virginia, Milford, PA, Rochester, and uh, Georgia. Uh, these are Internet uh, SDR receivers. And then I have uh, three... Uh, 10 foot vertical magnetic loops on the local radio and they are uh, running uh, at uh, zero degrees and at 90 degrees and at 136 degrees and I use those as a as a scanner I was going there two of them are on rotors but you know life is so fast I don't even have time to do the rotor thing so what I did I was just using my 10 foot vertical magnetic loops as a uh, scanner antennas Roger vertical magnetic loops as a uh, scanner antennas Roger Oh, okay, okay, for receive. Uh, what about uh, for uh, <coughs> transmit? Are you using the same ones or not? Oh, no, no. Uh, fixed uh, resonant uh, dipole antenna. Fixed resonant dipole antenna for transmit, always. Fixed resonant dipole antenna for transmit, always. Oh, very good. Uh, you hopefully using the one-to-one. -one. So, uh, any particular position, uh, direction that you're pointed at? Uh, well, yeah, uh, I am broadside to Montreal, Canada on one leg and broadside to Miami, Florida on the other leg. And as we were constructing our station, our mantra was uh, 20 over from Montreal to Miami with a hot spot through the Carolinas. And uh, with, you know, barring uh, unusual conditions, uh, the antenna supports its mission. Roger. Uh, the antenna supports its mission. Roger. Very good. Okay. Yeah, we got the hot spot down here in the Carolinas and uh, up north here also. So you probably, uh, for 40 meters, I would say we're pretty close as far as uh, our distance between us and propagation. So, okay. Um, like I said, I'm just trying to uh, get a grasp on propagation and um, to see what it's doing. So, uh, very good. James, back to you, and I'll clear out on this transmission, and you can carry on. Thanks a lot for your help there, James. KC9VKV, hope I got that correct. NX8B, clear. Back to you. Roger, Roger. John, I have you on my uh, local loop now, uh, two of them. Uh, you're better on my... Uh 134 degrees. So I'm not really sure what why that is. Uh, I would think that would you'd have been better at my uh, at my 90 degree. But uh, you know you are very loud, so I can hear your your bottom end now. And uh, I'm just wondering what kind of mic are you running there? Uh, let's see. I have an NRAD uh, NRAD microphone 629. Um, that that is all a little bass mic. I got it on a boom. Not nothing fancy whatsoever, James. Over. Roger, Roger. I was just wondering if you might be running a, a, wind, a foam windscreen on that mic. No, I, I no, I'm not. I'm trying to trying to talk off to the side of it instead of directly into it. Roger. Sometimes though, when you do that, you uh, you get off access to the to the the microphone. Uh, I would suggest if you get a chance, go ahead. You know, you're only talking about four bucks. Get a, a foam windscreen, put it on that mic, and then you can swallow it, and it'll sound beautiful. Okay, I'll see what I can do, and I'll put that on the internet um, priority here. So, okay, James, we'll do that then. So. Um, it's got a small windscreen, well, I wouldn't call it a windscreen, but uh, the screen around it, but uh, I guess those windscreens do help. 7-3, thanks, James. NX-8B. Roger, Roger, John. And uh, again, we have another recording for you to uh, listen to uh, in uh, our Cuso Vlog uh, air check recording. So, uh, uh, and this one is on our local uh, radio, which is flat uh, down to 100 cycles. And uh, you might be interested, we also have a spectrum analyzer tied to the audio. And it's looking at both my audio, well, it's looking at all audio, but it's looking at the receiver audio. And I think last time I might have been on the Milford uh, 
P-A-S-D-R as I copied you, but uh, this time I was on my local antenna, uh, uh, my local radio, which is flat down to 100 cycles. So if you look at that spectrum analyzer, uh, let me give you a couple of clues about that. There are uh, three white marks on that spectrum analyzer. The uh, one to the left, far left, is uh, denotes 100 cycles. So that far left mark on the spectrum analyzer is 100 cycles. And then as you move to the right, the first white line going to the right is 1KC. Then there is a black uh, blank space, which is 2KC. And the next white mark is uh, 4KC. So just a word of explanation as to uh, that, uh, what the markings on that spectrum analyzer as you look at it. Very good. Yeah. Uh, sounds interesting, so I might have to look into them, getting uh, to check it out. So, well, very good. As long as we're doing okay, I'm very happy. Ever. Yes, sir. You know, like I say, well, like you said, I think conditions aren't the greatest today, and you know, you are kind of, uh, kind of quickly coming and going, but uh, you're more uh, getting there than not. So, I think this recording is. Uh, will be probably better than the, than the other one anyway. Uh, let me say uh, 73 to you, John. Have a great afternoon, and we'll uh, catch you later. Roger, roger. Roger, roger. Thank you, James. Have a good day, and um, stay out of the heat. Annex 8B. Roger, roger. 73, sir. This is KC9VKV, the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog uh, air check uh, recording, and Milford has kicked me off again. Let me see if... <laughs> Milford is an unbelievable SDR receiver, and I probably shouldn't say that because then there's a thousand people going to Milford. I'll never be able to get in again, but it is my uh, main go-to uh, because it is so uh, outstanding. Anyway, this is the Friday afternoon. Kiss Sophie Lucknet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.